Taskmaster. No! Hands together, he creates a balloon. You're a man that likes women. Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I am Adam from FWCI, and this is season three, episode three of Taskmaster, or Taskmaster, uh, Little Polythene Grief Cave. What the hell is that? When I read that, seeing the word polythene, all it reminds me of is uh, like, you should see polythene Pam. Da -da -da -da. She's so good looking, but she looks like a man. Da -da -da -da. You should see her in drag dressed in a polythene bag. Yeah, you should see polythene Pam. <laughs> By the way, Beatles fans, uh, I did react to the Get Back documentary when it very first came out a long time ago. If you haven't seen that, go check it out because uh, I'm a huge fan and I had a hell of a lot of fun watching all three episodes of that crazy documentary, but you're here for Taskmaster, so uh, if you want early access, go to patreon.com slash fwci, that's where you can get it. You can also vote on my movie polls there and get two weeks early access to a whole bunch of other stuff. Five dollar dues a month, that's all it'll cost you, um, and uh, let's jump into it. When this goes up on the uh, live public channel, I'll be doing the finale of the same season. So if you do want to watch ahead to the finale, that's how you can do it. But let's jump into Little Polythene Grief Cave. Good lord. What is uh, Beckett? Who have we got? Beckett, uh, Pasco, um, Chowdhury, uh, Gorman, and Beckett, Chowdhury, Pasco, Gorman. What the fuck was the name of the other guy? I can't remember the name of the other guy, but let's go. Ah, oh, Al Murray, of course. Let's meet the prospective title holders now. Now. I love your accent, Greg Davis. But I'm sorry I forgot who you are, Al Murray. By the way, I cut out a lot of me thinking <laughs> from that intro. <laughs> Little Alex Horn! Hey! Have you been busy? I've been waiting you gave me. <laughs> That. <laughs> Today we asked them to bring in their best battery operated item. Best battery operated item? Uh, my best battery operated item. This can actually double as a battery if you know the science behind it, but uh, I'm going to offer up a Tesseract. This is a uh, infinity stone. It's the space stone. Uh, it can also transport you anywhere you want in the known and unknown universe. So uh, I think this one's a pretty solid uh, suggestion for the Taskmaster. What do you guys think in the comments? Is the Tesseract going to win? <laughs> I've got a baby at home, and we were given this, so it's got batteries in it, and it plays sort of white noise that soothes a baby to sleep. Oh, I actually wouldn't hate that. I would enjoy white noise. No, not like that. No, it's like, come no. here, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've brought a light for a toilet, so that when you wee, you can see where you win without waking up fully. That's not bad. That's pretty damn useful. Oh, it's like that? Brought in a Wally toy. <laughs> I've seen Wally. Go check out my Wally reaction. Wally, Wally, wow. like that, and it's just lovely. That's interesting, because nice. my instinct was to push you off the stage when you started making <laughs> iPod? You listen uh, to your own album? <laughs> <laughs> and I am actually Artist of the Week. <laughs> Already I'm petrified as to what you may have brought us in. What do you got, I man? A hairband, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> what the hell? The, the dreadlocks light up. Oh, they light up? Oh, yeah. then it has got everything on it. <laughs> Sarah, iPod. Nice item. Yeah. Uh, second, unbelievably, <laughs> and I am someone who wants to be a raster, but not an actual raster. <laughs> I'm going to put that in second place. And I've got a swollen prostate. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to kick things off with some bodily fluids. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, they're all <laughs> realising what this task was. <laughs> Must be weird for them, like, the moment between when they announce what task we're about to watch and then probably going through their head like, oh, God, what the hell did I do? Fill this egg cup with your own sweat. And it's going to be weird. 
Oh, this would be hard, man. You must complete the whole task speaking in an accent different to your own. There's 20 minutes. <laughs> Um, uh, um. <laughs> Is that in his accent? <laughs> it looks like you've only told Rob to speak in an accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's only for him. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be absolutely humiliating, isn't it? I... <laughs> the idea of this could end my career. <laughs> oh, no. Is he not good at accents or something? <laughs> Might as well give him the dreadlocks now. <laughs> <laughs> This must be bad, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, what temperature are we on? <laughs> Colin, we turn it on, please. You want me to turn it? Yars. <laughs> what is that accent? I'm going to get me caught. <laughs> He's just flipping between different. <laughs> Jesus Christ, beg it. I'm getting hot on my face. Is that the only accent he knows how to do? The Jamaican one? I th it sounded like he was flipping around at the start. Oh, wow. That's a good move. That's a good one. Get some hot sauce. Yum yum. In the mouth. Lock it in. But it isn't working. <laughs> oh my god. Did he get any? Oh, mate. <laughs> Were you sweating in your little polythene grief cave? <laughs> yeah. Took me basically most of 20 minutes to build it and then went, oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's collect yeah, it's collected them down the back and then trickled in. But... You use whatever gully God gives you. Oh my God, Gorman, why are you giving him our sweat? Unfortunately, <laughs> not a single drop of sweat, but 12 <laughs> different accents, including three new ones. <laughs> Al Murray's going to win this, that fat bastard. <laughs> Tickling me. <laughs> Time. Yuck. <laughs> Chowdhury. Paul, why is it that colour? <laughs> That's a good question. Are you blacking up? You know you've got some fake dreadlocks. <laughs> Oh, I think he's like just faking his complexion. I don't know what the hell that meant. A cream. Cream. Uh, and created some kind of a sweat fungus. <laughs> Twelve drops of sweat from his <laughs> I love he can get a woo for getting 12 drops of black sweat. We're going to see a Pasco Murray montage at last. I do like a good Pasco Murray montage. It's weird how many times they parallel. The sweat and urine are made of the same. No. Medically, they're urea, aren't they? That urine and sweat are the same thing. Hang on, why is this a montage of the two of them? <laughs> it's got to be something. You think so, wouldn't you? Murray, you dirty bastard. Own sweat. What about if I bought it off someone in this room? I would technically own it. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is rank. That's not going to count, though, man. Sarah used a brain and uh, bought some sweat. I am um, totally allowing that. <laughs> <laughs> she owns it? Okay. They're made in different ways by different parts of the body and are easy to distinguish uh, without the need for a scientific test. And culturally, everyone makes a clear distinction between them. And Chris says, uh, nice try, Murray, but I'd fail him. He's talking gibberish. So it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so actually, Rob comes in fourth with his zero drops of sweat. Unbelievable. Okay. Wow. Give him one clap. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave, then Sarah, then the winner. For the first time, Mr. Paul Chowdhury. Chowdhury with the dub in the sweat contest. <laughs> oh, do they have to set up like a big domino thing? Oh, I'm so down with that. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, it's already set up. Push me. Oh, is this just how they're going to reveal the task? <laughs> Woman would be loving this. Brilliant. Oh. 
<laughs> I like Sarah Pascoe, my mate, not a fan. <laughs> but I think she's great. Make the best domino rally. What's a domino rally? You dumbass, it was what you just looked at. Oh, this would be so much fun. So it didn't necessarily have to be dominoes. We gave them a thousand dominoes. They also, oh, so they also, it could be dominoes. It could be, we, we also gave them a house yeah. full of items. Should we see some? <laughs> yeah, show me what Gorman's done with this. Yeah! yeah. Oh! Well done, Gorman. A domino rally is a, a rally of dominoes in the same way that I saw sweat as sweat rather than piss. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the concert! <laughs> what is this? It smells like that gas that makes everyone go really stiff and fall over. Oh no! <laughs> that was a shit effort. Does she mean like Pompeii style? <laughs> What? <laughs> Is that the whole thing? <laughs> it's too short, Beckett. Should have done that and then led into more regular old dominoes. Three, two, one. Oh, you absolute bad. <laughs> Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> All right, Chowdhury, what the hell did you do? In the show, we, we end on something that's either brilliant or not so brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Which way will we jump? <laughs> what did you do? I hope it's amazing. <laughs> and not bad, not bad. I still think Gorman did the best job. I mean, at no point were you told that you had to have an egg fall into a pan. <laughs> that, my friend, was a hurdle of your own making. <laughs> Third place, oh man, I'm gonna put Rob. Ooh. Am I? Come on, Gorman, come on. <laughs> come on, Gorman. Chowdhury absolutely romps home in first place. Bam. Damn. I'm glad Chowdhury got a win. That's twice. That's two wins in one episode for him. I'm happy for Chowdhury. Oh, buy a gift for the Taskmaster. I know this little um, pigeonhole. <laughs> Rolled up £20 note. It's not that kind of show, is it? Buy a gift for the taskmaster. Rob. A footstool. <gasps> for your chair. Oh, that is... That is good. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well done. And a blankie. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's going to take some beating. <laughs> I am from yeah. Wem. I, I bought you a, a book called The Story of Wem. Wow, it's that thick. Um, <laughs> Wem Brewery. <gasps> Shrewsbury and Genuinely Wem Brewery. Genuinely closed down the Wem Brewery. Yeah, yeah. That's where I went for all my school trips. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> to a brewery. <laughs> well, that's a very, very thoughtful, thoughtful gift. I have for you, Taskmaster, 20 pounds worth of the last Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> we had that advertising campaign in Australia, like, would you give someone your last Rolo? Oh, now I really want some Rolos. You have to write the sitcom, and I thought what I would do with my money is write some of it for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Really? <laughs> she just wrote some script for it? <laughs> Greg's character, oh Christ, I can't read shit. Greg's character walks into a bar. Ow, only joking, it's a pub. Greg's character, oh hi everyone in the pub. Susan, new character, hi. 
Susan is very sexy because she is a woman and Greg's character, in all caps, can't help himself. Greg's character, does she not know what his character's name is? Will you go out with me or even just get off with me? <laughs> no, but I'll be back later with hilarious consequences. Susan leaves. Actually, she could be played by the same actress who plays Rogine's character as they are never in the same scene Rogine's character enters. Regine's character, this is a nice pub, but I wish I wasn't so wacky. Also, I am all damp from falling down that water slide. Now I can't read any of it because it's getting worse. Well, you're a man that likes women. I've known you for a long time. You've had a lot of women what in you your mean? life. Don't say it in that creepy voice. <laughs> <part. laughs> <laughs> no, but mainly women, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a severed hand. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a man that likes women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're right, Paul, I do like women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not creepy. It's a game of Twister. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I need a second. I need a second. <laughs> I don't know why that exchange just just hit me so bad. Oh, oh. all right. All right. Bolo third. In second place, the footstool. What? My tan gets no publicity. I'm putting Dave Gorman's Wemmy in gifts first. The Wemmy in gifts? Viva Shropshire. Oh my God, they, they used to be on the... Tim Tam commercial. No, it was like a coffee commercial. This dude would say, oh, what was it? This is it. I'm into something slightly more exotic. Like where you're from. Really? Twopshire. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, Chowdhury with the lead. Create the best flag meal. Flag meal? What the hell is a flag meal? The Taskmaster likes to eat. Meals that look like flags. Okay. You have 10 minutes to choose your flag and plan your meal. Then 30 minutes to prepare your meal. Jesus Christ. Flag meal. There's so much blue on every flag that I think of. Right, I'd need some rice and some food colouring. Ooh, rice and food colouring. Well done. You doing Canada? Oh. Is that Indonesia? Oh, no, she's Canada, oh, Canada. Not quite. What, and what flag is that? Are you shitting me? <laughs> That's the Canadian flag. Look at that. Wow. You know what? Good effort. The icing's quite chilly. Like a real flag. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's <laughs> real. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Is it a meal? Uh, yeah. It's... Starter and dessert. It's two meals. <laughs> what flag do you think Al did? He did the British flag, 100%. <laughs> oh, you didn't piss in the tray, did you? <laughs> yeah, Great Britain. Only had it <laughs> How did he do these, these lines? Very accurate. With a spoon. spoon Just laying it out. Okay, I mean, I can taste a bit of... Yeah, I'm sure. ...each I... colour. It just tastes like nothing, though, doesn't it? It's just rice. You'll notice you've got a tang off the colouring. Yeah, man, you could have, like, had, like, a meat in the middle. Like a red, you know, chilli kind of meat. That would have worked. Can we call rice a meal? If you eat enough of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. There's some countries that that's pretty much all they eat. Yo, Gorman, what are you doing? Skull and crossbones surprise. And there it is. Yeah. That's good. Oh. It's not bad, but it's probably going to taste great. Imagine this is the sort of thing you would eat. At sea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't think he really... You didn't really nail it, Dave. You were asked what ingredients you wanted. You ordered yourself a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Two boats with pirates on. I would be most frightened of the one that's flying <laughs> that flag. <laughs> Got your flag dinner? I'm so hungry. Kenichiwa. 
Mm, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. What it reminds me of, just before I pop it in, is mm. um, placenta. <laughs> Gall to deliver that and say konnichiwa. <laughs> I'd, I'd seasoned it with salt. <laughs> oh. Sounds like you've won. <laughs> For some reason, dyed a pancake red and then doused it in ketchup. <laughs> We've left Paul to last for once. Oh, now Chowdhury again? Has he been quietly biding his time? And this is what he did. Waiting to strike. What is it? Mexican flag, isn't it? Is it? Well, I guess we should eat Mexico. There's white in the Mexican flag. I guess that's the the pasta, but... Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Chowdhury. I don't know if you, if you pulled it off. <laughs> that's yellow. That looks like the Colombian flag. Is that more accurate? It's meant to feature an eagle holding a serpent in its talon perched on top of a prickly pear cactus. And what exactly. did you use to represent that? Mustard. <laughs> what it looks like is the Marley flag. Oh, OK, there we go. I think the crowd spoke volumes when they saw Dave's Jolly Roger. <laughs> Straight into first... Really? I don't know, the, the, the Union Jack looked pretty good. I'd hate to eat that meal, it would sicken me. <laughs> Dave is just two points behind. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, Chowdhury. I like Gorman as well. I, I'm happy if whoever wins. Anchor these balloons using only bread. <laughs> it's the old classic. <laughs> oh, that sounds hard, man. It's like poke a tiny, yeah, poke a hole in it and... This could be your only opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. I don't want to point out when any particular individual is doing well, but clearly someone is. <laughs> I would feel like I would have won this challenge because that's the first thing I would have done. Very neat, very neat. Chowdhury, you're not making lunch. Step away! Step away! Oh, she killed it. Well done. Oh, but I didn't pay attention to Gorman or Chowdhury. Oh, Chowdhury didn't do shit. <laughs> Damn it. Well, who was in the lead came second last with three. Oh, Paul, you have everything to play for, man. Sucks. Sarah, very much the architect of that technique. Much like the Fosby flop, she'll be known for years to come, I'm sure. <laughs> Fosby flop. I haven't heard that for a while. Becca now is in charge of the series. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh everybody's all. And the winner was Paul Chowdhury. No! Oh, Chowdhury got it! Oh, just snuck in. Well done, Chowdhury. You get to keep your dreadlocks. You can piss at night. <laughs> Yeah, are they dreadlocks or pigtails? Is he doing his best Rob Becker impersonation there? Oh, and he's got Sarah Pascoe's iPod. <laughs> okay, that was a very fun episode. The sweat challenge was gross, but it was still very funny. Uh, the buyer present for the Taskmaster, this was a classic. I, I don't know why that bit just broke me as bad as it was. Just Chowdhury insisting. You're a man who likes women. Like, he just wanted to, like, get his response to that. He just would not let it go. That was very funny. The Domino's challenge was... Sorry, the Domino's task, I should say, was uh, awesome. Gorman did a great job. I would, like... I don't know. I want to go look up some professional, like, Domino's, like, sets or something like that. If you know any good Domino's videos, uh, let me know in the comments. And I thought the flag meal task was a very creative task to set for people. Any of these, like artsy crafty creative tasks i just i just love them i my creative juices just start flowing as soon as i start watching them but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one i'm glad chowdhury got the win as well he definitely deserves it patreon.com slash fwci for some early access to taskmaster brooklyn 99 shits creek movies movie polls everything else like that five dollar reduce a month that's where you can get it that's what you can pay for it i'm gonna get my tesseract and get the hell out of here and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video Peace.